Hello everybody, I'm back. Today I'm going to review the Psyonix Aurora Sport. This is a very unique camera. It has a, a very high aperture, so it's able to see at night very well. It is pretty much the best night vision camera you can buy. Uh, there are, for its price range, there are better versions of this that have 1080p recording but this one only has 720 this thing's special because it has uh color night vision it is the only camera this was the first camera in the world to have this and it is still a pretty crazy camera so this can record video picture audio and it has a couple other features you can mount it to a tripod you can see it's the psionic psionics aurora sport that lens is just really cool. It has a nice little mount for a uh, hand thing. I added this myself as I didn't want to drop this at all. This, I got this for $300. I'll leave an associate link on Amazon. You can get them for 400, I think is what you can get them for. Four or 500, I don't remember exactly. It comes with it is charged by this using a micro USB, nothing too special. Its case is actually pretty cool because it just fits into its case like this. Like so. And this little top piece, make sure it stays in place so it can't shake around in there, which is really cool. All right, I'm gonna show you a video of it from the camera itself, but before that, I'm going to show you how you can change the battery and how you would open and view the micro SD card. So it has a bunch of different features, which I'll talk about later in the video. But the main one is that you get to change its aperture uh, by just switching this little dealio right here. It has day, twilight, and night. For this video, I'll be showing you all three, but uh, I'll mainly be using the night. Right here... You get the viewfinder and you can turn it on and I'll just go to a picture and you can you probably won't be able to see too much from this and you can see some of that this will adjust the vision of the viewfinder record by hitting that and you can zoom in by clicking one of these and adjust the digital aperture this affects the zoom or the focus and this you can set to do for different things. It can actually connect to your phone over Wi-Fi, which is really cool. You charge it by plugging it into this. Oh, I also forgot to mention that this is 100% waterproof, up to three feet, I think. And it can stay there for like 30 minutes. All right, get this off. The Pro versions are a lot more expensive, but they have like 1080p recording. This only has 720p, but for its night vision is pretty sweet. It's about Gen 2 night vision, but digital, and you get to record with it. All right, so now let's get to the battery. So to get to the battery, you just pop this thing down, and this top piece just pops right off. It's a bit hard to do with one hand. So let's just get a little popping, there we go. And that pops off, and here's the viewfinder, and you look in here, there's the micro SD card, and there's the battery. You can change out the micro SD to whatever size you want. I have a 32 gig in there right now, and it does it really, really well. It'll last for quite a while. There's the battery right here. You can take it out, but I'm not going to. So let's just put this back on. Make sure it's going nice and lined up. And let's make sure I think it's locked in place. Yep, there we go. You can take off this rubber piece, but I'm not going to. It's got a little sensor to show, when, to show when it's near your eye. I'm not going to mess with that. All right. So now, for the most important part, and that'll be some testing, but I'll just do a little bit more. Uh, once I go to this, the audio is going to be completely and utterly bad. It Well, the audio is okay. It's not the greatest, but it's nothing compared to my phone. All right. So now we'll do some testing with the camera. Okay. So you can actually see into there. And you can actually see that it can see a lot better in the dark just from this but let's you can there's a bunch of different frame rates you can choose from and the lower the frame rate the better the night vision will be for this i'll be using 24 frames because that's about what i record at you can see it's 720p 
it's got a microphone and a bunch of different stuff but the lower the frame rate the better the night vision will be but for this video i'll just do 24 frames uh that'll be about it for that i honestly could just take you guys through using this but i mean that looks okay but i, I want to show you guys exactly how the camera sees it so i'll i'll just switch this camera in just a second all right i am back and this is on the Sionix aurora this is in daylight mode at night it actually doesn't have very good quality right now make sure i got the so you can zoom in using a digital zoom which is pretty cool you can adjust the aperture uh, I guess you can't do that with daylight. Okay, so now let's switch to twilight. And as you can see, you can already see a lot better. Using the bigger aperture, it's able to see a lot better because it, when you switch between modes, it opens the aperture. And you're able to see a lot better from it. Um, and let's now go to night vision mode. And everything's went to black and white. It has a color, but now you can see this opens the aperture all the way up. I can adjust the settings to go into color night vision, but this looks the best, honestly, when you're outside. The color night vision is pretty cool, but it really makes it really grainy, so I like this one the best. All right, so let's go outside real quick, and I'll show you how good this thing is. Hello, everybody. I am now outside, and it is pitch black. Oh, oops, <laughs> I forgot I had it hooked to my hand. I'll take a video for you guys right now. You can see how bright my phone screen is, so I'll take a video for you guys. That flashing is the infrared on the phone, so let's take a little video. And I should probably do it sideways. Okay, I'll take a little video for you guys. And you can see it is pitch black out here. Man, the phone with that sensor is very annoying. That's the infrared sensor that the phones have. All right, so, and you can see it is pitch black out here. Man, the phone with that sensor is very annoying. That's the infrared sensor that the phones have. All right, so there's a little video to show you how dark it is out here. There's a little video to show you how dark it is out here. And we'll just get back to the camera. Right now, there is a pretty full moon, so it's not the fairest of tests, but because I can actually see, oh, well, no, actually I can't. I can see kind of well without using this. Like, it's fairly dark, but I can sort of see around, but this I can see everything with. Like, even the stuff has shadows and you can just see everything clear as day right now it works so well it's pretty sweet I don't know if it's recording the time I wonder if it's showing on the screen uh, I think it might actually okay, never mind. Um, right now it's actually 936 it shows me on the screen we got our little sheeps here you can see looking at me and this is just with <clears throat> This is just with the black and white. I can also switch to green scale and a bunch of different modes. But I like this one the best. Let's see, are they in focus properly? Yeah. I can actually do a test for you guys to show you what it looks like with the color night vision. Just give me a sec. You can see my the cameras from my house. I have security cameras. They make it look like floodlights. All right, now to show you the color. So this is using their special night color technology. As you can see, it doesn't look as good as you'd think it would. But, I mean, it does give everything color, and it's... Oh, let me get that closer. It is relatively close to what you'd expect, sort of. Though anything green becomes a gray, which is kind of weird. But, you can see everything's got color. And that's pretty amazing. If you, if you know anything about cameras, you know that this is pretty much crazy hard to do. So this camera is able to see colors even though it's pretty much 
pitch black out here, as you can see from my iPhone's camera. So it does look pretty cool, but it does add a bit of graininess to it, as you can see. You can see that lights from the car. You can't even see that with my eyes, really, but when you look over there, it's a big old floodlight coming down the road. See a car drive by pretty soon. Ah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But as you can see, this works super well. You can see everything at night. I've seen a bunch of people say that they didn't really like this, but you have to know how to mess with the settings. And once you do that properly, you can get it to work so well. Like, let's do the digital zoom. Right now, this isn't the best one, just the night color isn't the best one, but the digital zoom works pretty well. It just helps you identify stuff that's farther out. But, I mean, it doesn't look the greatest, which is kind of understandable because it's digital zoom and this is only a 720p camera. All right, I'm going to switch back to my favorite grayscale. Or actually, you know, what? I'll do green just to show you what it looks like when it's green because you can see the most in the green, but I like the grayscale the most. So I'll go to green real quick. I'll show you a little video how to switch between the different colors because it actually took me a minute. So you can see it's outside right now and we'll just go to the camera. Bam, you can see everything. All right, so I have it in color right now. And you hold down the top button and you get these different things. And we'll go to oops, night glow. Oh, I hit the wrong button. If you hold it, go down to night glow, click right, then we'll go over to green. Then you click the button, it'll switch it to the green. This is what most people think see think of seeing oh man this is hard to do this is what most people think of when they think of night vision it's really bright so it's hard to use you have to turn tone it down a bit but you can see everything with this <laughs> it just gets washed out this is for when it's really really dark You can see that flashing in the back right, bottom right. That's from the that's from the camera picking that up. All right, I'm gonna go back to regular night vision. Let me see. Go to night glow. What is that? What is invert? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to do that. So let's go back to night glow. And we'll go back to my favorite grayscale. Honestly, I think grayscale has the most definition of everything. I like it better. Come on. Okay, so now I'll just click the button and we'll go back to the camera. All right. All right. So now we are back on the camera. And we are back on my favorite grayscale. And as you can see, you can see everything. I mean, the color does add a bit more detail to stuff, like, it was harder to see the sheep. Oh, I gotta turn up the brightness. Let's go back up to the regular brightness. Excellent. I turned it down when I was switching between those two. Come on. Oh, now it doesn't want to switch brightness. Oh, I Come on. So I need to... Oh, whatever. Normally it's brighter, but I don't know why it's not letting me switch up the brightness. That's okay. So as you can see, you can see everything. Doesn't matter really. I have the brightness turned down, and I don't know why I can't turn it back up. As you can see though, you can see everything, and it looks pretty amazing. And then this is really dark outside. The moon looks like the sun right now. <laughs> One thing that's probably the best thing about these, I'm really shaky when I'm walking. Don't usually film with this, because it, it to see out of it, you have to hold it right up to your eye because there's got an eyepiece on there. Uh, but the the best thing about these kinds of cameras is when you're using a camera versus an actual uh, image light intensifying tube. If you don't have a nice fancy light intensifying tube, you can actually damage it by turning it on during the day. Well, this thing, you can turn it on during the day all you want and it'll work fine. It's pretty sweet. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Look at those stars. 
You can see the stars so well with this thing. I forgot about that. That's super cool. It's funny, you can see the stars better than you can with your eyes. See the little tree right there, but look at those stars. All right, so this gives you a pretty good demonstration on how good this thing works. Um, I'm going to finish up my review. Yeah, I'll just do it on this. Why not? So this camera is pretty much... Nah, I'll go back to my other camera just to finish it off just so I get my voice back to regular quality because this thing doesn't have the greatest quality mics as you probably have noticed but that's okay okay so now I'm gonna go back to my other camera all right so this is easily the best camera for night vision you can buy and it's relatively affordable this one was $300 for me because I I got it when it was on a special sale, or I don't remember how I got it for that much, but you can normally get them for like $400. I'll leave an Amazon associate link in the bottom. You can buy it right off Amazon. There are a couple, I'll put a, I'll put a couple associate links down there. It'll show all the different models, but this is probably the best one just because of how small it is and how affordable it is. They have two other variants that are like twice the price though, and they offer higher definition recording and better night vision, but they're just really expensive. All right, so this one gets perfect reviews. It is pretty amazing. I have tried a bunch of different night vision, and this is easily the best. Like, I tried a bunch of different night vision cameras that use infrared, not true night vision, because a true night vision camera, at the cheapest, you're going to be putting $1,500 in. Well, this you got for $300. I've tried many others, and they don't look anywhere close to this. All right, so this gets perfect reviews. I definitely recommend it to anybody. All right, so this will end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. If so, please like and subscribe, and I'll definitely make more like it. I'm going to make just a video of the camera footage of this just to show you guys any other people who want to see it. All right, see you guys later. Bye.